quick update before the review. We actually want to start owner's review, reviewing your own car on our channel. So we actually need your help. And we want to make this global tour, but why don't we start from Korea first. I'll leave my email below here, so let me know a little bit about your car and also let me know your contact number if you're interested. Okay guys, now let's get back to the review. Hello, welcome to Asian Patriot. Today we have the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe as a press car. We just got it this afternoon, so we're gonna give you night drive of this new Hyundai Santa Fe. We're gonna give you tour of the exterior interior and also go for a short night drive. So before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and let's get started. And we also gave you first drive on this new Hyundai Santa Fe. So if you have missed that, please refer to the link above. So let's start showing you the car from the front. Um, it came with white. I really do love how it looks um, with white when it's wet in the raining. And uh, seems to have a new hood line on the top. It carries over very nicely so to the center of the car. And this car is inspiration, uh, came with inspiration trim. So it's got very distinctive pattern for the grille. Hyundai logo in the middle, seems a little bit large, but it's okay. 360 camera right here and adaptive cruise control, uh, radar for the adaptive cruise control. It also has a, this metal-ish looking skid plate on the bottom. We also have a active air curtain right here. Oh, sorry bug. Uh, that wasn't me, but it just came with like that. So. Um, you know, what do you think about the new front design? I, I think uh, you really have to see this car in person. Uh, it's got wider grille and I do really prefer this new headlamp system. It used to be very narrow and this is wider and it just gives me that more um, nicer look. Um, it's not like small, it's, it's large and you know profound. I like that. And we also have a, you know, LED headlamp system. So let me just for B-roll, that's DRL, which Hyundai calls it Eagle's Eye. <laughs> yeah, it looks looks very sharp. Even compared to the Hyundai Palisade system, it looks very sharp. So guys, do let me know what you think about it. Um, so that's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal. There's no fog lamp, and that's what horn sounds like. Um, yeah, it's, some say it looks like a, you know, Thor's hammer from Volvo, but it looks more than that. It's very sharp looking, so looks quite nice. Um, some people say it looks ugly, but you really have to see this car in person because you know photos just doesn't just justify the the looks. Um, and because of the inspiration, like I told you, because this is inspirations trim. Oh no no, I I have to. Uh, um, I apologize because this is uh, not inspiration. They don't call it inspiration anymore. They call it calligraphy. Uh, I don't know if I am pronouncing that right. Uh, it's not calligraphy. It's calligraphy, right? So if I do uh, say that wrong, please do uh, correct me there. So because it's a high stream, we also have this uh, painted wheel arches. Um, it's got new uh, rim design. Let's see, uh, it's actually got 255, 45 by 20 inch rims. Um, I think it looks good, uh, but some people just don't like this too much things going on. Um, and um, yeah, I, I talked to uh, Daniel who, who owns a 2019 uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. We're gonna shoot the review together tomorrow, actually the main review. and. He said it looks too busy, but when it's rolling, it looks nicer. And uh, I kind of do agree with that. And uh, from the side, it hasn't changed all that much. You know, this is just a facelift. Um, but actually, uh, surprisingly, this uh, all new, uh, not all new, new Hyundai Santa Fe is built up on all new platform. So it's about 0.6 inches longer. I'm gonna show you the uh, second row seats momentarily, but it's got about 1.3 inch longer wheelbase for the second row seats. Uh, looks very nice in uh, brown. You can get it also with black and I really do like this brown. Just brings uh, brightness into the color and it's, it's raining, um, but it's okay, I have my umbrella. But uh, the really nice thing is that uh, they uh, 
managed to put black materials where kids and everybody kick the most, right? So, so it's all in black. So that's that's very nice. Um, I didn't mean to kick it, but I have no hands. Okay, so just uh, it also has a Santa Fe lettering right there, and it's really nice. Uh, you know, they cover the whole bottom. So let's say you're you know you're getting in and out, but this whole part just covers the covers the bottom, so it doesn't like get dirty your pants. Okay, so looks very nice from the side as well. Okay, and um, let me just show you something because um, I wanted to show you the the rear, but I parked too close. So let's see what I have to do. Let me just turn off the car. Oh yeah, where are you? So turn off the car. Is it really off? No. <laughs> so that's a no-go, I guess. So there. This is what the key fob looks like. Um, so that's lock, unlock. And you can start the car. Right? I'm going to explain later, but this car has a 2.2 liter diesel. Yes, I'm not a big, big fan of the diesel, but it's really efficient and you can take out the car. Before it starts driving, the DRL becomes brighter and just starts driving. You see, uh, see, but if somebody steps in, like it's not going to run over anybody. So. That's really nice and you can turn off the car as well. So it's very simple as that, okay? I just wanted to show you the rear design, but let me just turn on the, the ignition so I can show you the, the tail lamp a little bit better. All right, it's still raining. Uh, we have a tornado, typhoon, uh, I don't know which one it is, but we have like three of them came um, this month, so it's it's been crazy. You see all the it's broken uh, trees and everything. It's it's been wild. Um, so this is what it looks like from the rear. Um, yeah, not much change changes. Um, they just kind of sort of connected the the middle part. Um, does it light up? Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna put a B-roll. Uh, I'm here myself, uh, first time seeing it. So let me just put a B-roll. Let's see uh, if it lights up or not. <laughs> gonna have to check with you guys. Um, this actually has an LED combination tail lamp. Um, that's backup for the burp type and turn signal is right here. And uh, we also have uh, sensors for backup. I really do like uh, how they uh, use this very long and horizontal um, reflector not just the one on the top but it actually has a two line that sort of connects and wrap around the, the back it looks really nice uh, new skid plate on the bottom and look uh, i think daniel's gonna hate this but you see that the muffler is a hidden type it's located right on the bottom um, guys do let me know uh, I, i'm not really big fan of uh, hidden type mufflers but we're gonna have to get used to it because more makers like to be seen their cars and uh, SUV to be seen more uh, clean and eco-friendly um, so and the logo in the middle um, you know Sorento has a hidden type but this does not um, you know I have no problem with that here on the logo right here Santa Fe lettering a track this has a a track system um, I'm going to show you how it drives uh, you know I I sort of uh, tested it a little bit uh, on the first drive and it drives very nicely and handles uh, very nicely. So tomorrow um, I'm going to show, uh, show it to Daniel and uh, show you guys how this guy handles. And I'm really surprised how uh, you know, recent Hyundai cars um, drive and handle because it really handles nicely. Um, you know, this is when you think about Hyundai cars, it used to be like a you know economical car and cheap car, but now uh, look at the design and look at the powertrain uh, and the cornering. Just maybe because uh, you know Mr. Arbert Bierman came um, from 
you know, BMW M division. <laughs> so maybe he at night, you know, everywhere is gone. You know, he sort of works on the suspension tuning, but generally handles very nice. So thank you, Mr. Bierman and all the engineers who works very hard. Did you see that? That's that's what the turn signal looks like. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like an ember. It's okay. So. Yeah, so this came with seven seats. Um, I'm just gonna go roughly through it because many people are saying you cannot see anything. Um, so I hope you can see this. Um, fix a flat kit, some fire extinguisher. Uh, it's a law here in Korea. If you have anything larger, more than seven seats, need that here. Um, so some manuals and triangle. Okay, so. Very nice. Um, you also have 12 volts charging and you can release the second row seats from here. So that's pretty nice. Fan control, USB charging ports. And just like the uh, Sedona, it's manual. Like this, okay? And the headrest also comes up like this. So looks very similar to uh, Hyundai, I mean, Kia. Um, did it get? Did it get on the wet? Okay. Looks very similar to uh, Kia Sorento. Okay, let me also show you the engine room. Very nice two shocks. Right here it says uh, Smart Stream D, which stands for diesel, turbo diesel. Um, here in Korea, for now, you can only get this uh, new Hyundai Santa Fe with 2.2 liter diesel, which makes about 202 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. Um, Hyundai says they're going to introduce the car uh, sometime this fall with 2.5 liter turbo gasoline engine. So guys, do let me know what you think about it. Um, obviously in North America, you guys are not going to get it with 2.2 liter diesel, but hopefully, uh, hope to uh, show you inline Hyundai Santa Fe as well. And this 2.2 liter diesel makes about 202 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque and engine is made it to a uh, speed new wet type dual clutch transmission and some might say you know why do you put a dct on an suv but i think uh you know hyundai is focusing you know more on efficiency with this new hyundai santa fe because most of people drive this car on road than off road so if you're looking to go uh you know heavy duty off-roading with this santa fe it's probably not the car for you okay so we're going to show you how the DCT feels uh, on the road pretty soon, so stay tuned for that as, as well. And uh, probably tomorrow we're gonna show you how it handles with all the drive. So. It's a bit noisy, but once you go inside, it's really heavy, raining heavily. Once we go inside, um, it's going to be um, a lot quieter, okay? So it's raining heavily. Uh, <laughs> But I really wanted to give you night drive because I'm gonna to have to shoot the night drive today. Uh, main review tomorrow and because we have a Kia Stinger um, first drive coming on Wednesday. So we have a pretty tight schedule. So no matter if it's raining, I wanted to show you the car. Okay, so let me also quickly show you the, uh, the third and second row seats quickly. Give me a second because it's raining. I have only no hands. Okay, so, all right. So let me just show you the third row seats. Okay. See that? It's got nothing on here, <coughs> which is weird because on the right side, it's got one touch release button, just like my Hyundai Palisade, but not on the left side. I don't know why, whose idea was that? Uh, it's a very, very good system, but only located on the right side. So Hyundai, why not just give it for everybody? Uh, let me just uh, put my umbrella down here and show you the third row seats. I hope well, my GoPro isn't too wet. Um, so, what do we got here? You guys don't know I'm about 6'2". Um, obviously, gonna need a little bit more space for second row seats. 
but you know it feels pretty okay uh, compared to um, Kia Sorento this feels better the headroom but uh, legroom feels very very similar and we also have uh, air vents on either side fan control for the third row seats um, USB charging port 220 volt 112 volt charging and Corral sound system. Um, so it's a very nice place to be even for third row seats and uh, yeah, suede on the top, black. Um, these are for the uh, um, passenger row system. Let's say, you know, if you leave your dog or uh, your, your baby <laughs> inside, if it detects movement, it's going to notify you through a, a text or uh, your app. So that's what it is for. It's a very nice system. Okay, let me also quickly show you these second row seats. So it's a bit raining, so let me just try to save my GoPro. Oh, some people just went somewhere with this car. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit raining. Oof. Okay, we're good. So like I told you, I uh, really love this uh, brown interior. It looks really nice. Uh, Two-tone right here where people kick most. Right there, right there. It's, it's covered with black. So I really do like that. LED reading lamp here. Um, Two-stage heated seats. Window comes down how much? Ooh, all the way. Very nice. Crawl system. We're going to let you hear it pretty soon. 12s. Sound system by Corel, manual but sunshade for the side. Really, really neat feature. Um, I think all SUVs should have this because you know you have your kids and spouse back here, and really, really handy when it's hot. You know. Okay, some uh, some storage area here, cup, cup holder, and everything on the bottom as well. Map pocket looks very clean, and we also have a. Uh, Two USB charging ports, fast USB charging port and two 20 volt charging. And uh, that should be good. Two air vents on the top. And we have this massive, massive looking um, panoramic sunroof on the top. You know, my Palisade and Telluride all have like dual roof, but this actually has a gigantic sunroof. Yeah, it's raining, so let's close it. Just wanted to let you see. And the top also closes like that. So, really, really big screen. Okay, and we also have a cup holder and some armrest here with a headrest even for the center guy. So, really like that, um, you know, two-tone seat belt looks very nice um, and even the floor is very flat right so even if I sit right here it's it's okay I mean very surprisingly um, and like I told you uh, Ki Hyundai is saying this has about you know 1.3 inch longer legroom and I believe them because even the last generation has huge room but this also does have but you can also also uh, slide the seats and also recline the seats so it's got pretty much everything back here and some of you also asked me like uh, you know is Hyundai Palisade better or um, Hyundai Santa Fe better or uh, you asked me like whether Kia Telluride do I like Kia Telluride better or Kia Sorento better um, to start we don't have Kia Telluride here which is very unfortunate thing um, but when you when I compare uh, this Hyundai Santa Fe to uh, Hyundai Palisade, I mean, up to here, up to second row seats, I mean, it's it's got enough seat, I mean, space here, so you don't have to feel you know worried about first and second row seats. Third row seats is a bit cramped, but even Hyundai Palisade, if you go long long distance, it's it's gonna feel uncomfortable. So. Uh, I would say, you know, if you, if I were you, I would get this uh, with seven seats, but mostly, um, you know, 
go drive with four people or five people and uh, you know everybody should be uh, very happy and uh, Hyundai Palace say will feel a little bit large uh, especially uh, you know places like you know Korea it's where the parking lot small and the roads are small but um, Santa Fe will feel a lot more uh, easier to maneuver around small towns and stuff like that so if you love big cars just like me um, get Hyundai Palisade or Kia Terrain but if you don't like to drive two big cars um, don't get me wrong I know if you're watching from North America tuning in from North America you guys have you know Suburbans, Denali's, um, you know Escalade uh, those are big cars I know but uh, even comparing this to uh, Palisade if you like um, you know not too big cars I think Santa Fe will get the job done very nicely for the first and second row seats okay so so that's just my little comparison between Hyundai Santa Fe and Palisade and this new Santa Fe makes it a little bit more appealing um, with every new feature so let's move to the first row seats and show you the car from the driver's seat all right guys I think it's dark enough so let me just show you the first row seats so that's with 2.2 liter diesel but uh, yeah it feels nicely isolated a lot better than the last generation but if you you guys don't know <laughs> I don't like the diesel so much uh, so if you're not planning to drive you know this car a lot you know long distance a lot then I suggest you get it with uh, you know 2.5 liter turbo which is a lot quieter and also smoother okay um, let's start uh, you know the window for all four automatic wow it's raining a lot so let's close it so, it's very nice um, we have a suede on the top I'll just show it to you so very nice uh, even the sun visor very nice um, also have a Oh, that's that's burp type. That's not cool. So whatever you see is it's LED, but whatever you don't see a lot is actually burp type. Two stage uh, memory seats, not two stage, two memory seats. Um, we also have a uh, you know lights. Let's say you put lots of heavy stuff. With the cars, you know, nose gets up. You can adjust that as well. Uh, lanes keep assist and uh, trunk ESC off electric parking um, so yeah it looks very nice love the two-tone leather very nice up to here looks very similar this events around but like I told you it's got new 12.3 inch gauge cluster uh, let me see if it if it'll show us the uh, the ceremony I oh, know you have to be driving it actually I guess so I'm going to show you, uh, so that's, that's what it looks like when you start it up. Um, I told you we have uh, seven dry mounts, uh, Comfort, Eco, Sports, Smart, actually I have to press here to go to Terrain, Snow, Mud, Sand. You cannot go to other side unless you press this button once, so that's very nicely organized. So let me just show you, that's Comfort, Eco. Sports, smart, snow, mud, sand. When you put the car into uh, a mud, the heel dis descent control um, actually automatically comes on. So let's put the car into comfort and um, nice steering wheel. Um, it's got um, you know voice command, which only supports Korean. But I'm sure when you guys get it in the U.S., you probably get it in English as well. Uh, you can also show us uh, many different things. And my favorite thing is the A-Track. It shows how the, uh, the torque is being sent front and back. Nice. Uh, Uriel, because it's got uh, diesel, it's got Ed Blue in it, um, attention level. So trip computer, lots of stuff. So. Yeah, blind spot monitoring system, very nice. Um, it also has a head-up display, so, which is very nice. And so this this is how fast the uh, wipers move. That's low. This is high. Maybe it's just me, but when it's really pouring, uh, I hope 
it can move a little bit faster. Uh, so, handy. A little bit faster would be nice. Um, to the right, uh, it's got still same 10 and quarter inch infotainment screen, but it's got new UI uh, system. I'm going to show you, but this actually moves when you drive, showing the uh, the temperature, the weather. Uh, you can also choose to be the your name or guest. So let me just sh show you a few things um, before we do. Let me just see if it picks up the uh, the moon lamp because we're going to show you the moon lamp first. Okay, so if my GoPro does not pick up, uh, we have the Sony right here. Um, so it's got a moon lamp here, um, which is right here and right here on the side. But it's not on the uh, second row of seats. No, I don't see it anywhere. Um, so let's turn turn off the car. I mean the, the lights and show you. So we need to first go to vehicle. Lights. Um, ambient light. Let's see which color. So polar white. You see that? Moon white. Ice blue. <laughs> oh. Ocean blue. Jade green. Orchid green. Fresia yellow. Sunset red. Aura purple. Lightning violet. And you can choose among like 64 different colors. But let's just put it on to red because it shows very nicely. Um, I wish they had something on this side as well because it's just on the center. Uh, it's 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 nice thing to have. Um, it also has two channel built-in camera, which is right here and one at the back. So, oh, someone was recording me. Wow, that's very. Huh, it's been recording ever since. Wow, look at that. So it can record front and back. That's pretty neat. Where was I? Huh. So. <laughs> That's very interesting. So there I was reviewing the car. <laughs> That's very funny. So we have a two channel black box what do you call it in your language um so passenger talk you can also talk to third row seat people hello hello like that so you don't have to yell at them so that is what it is uh, hyundai car pay if you uh register car when you go into gas station it'll just automatically pay for you um climates very nice system right um well, actually, uh, when you uh, use the, uh, do you see that? When you use the uh, the wind washer, it will actually recirculate the air. Um, there was this thing, uh, you know, people were saying that wind washer was bad for your lung and everything, and just can they start putting this thing? Um, so, all right, let me just show you other things. Um, this air vent seems to be very similar, but if you move on the bottom, they really um, redesigned the whole climate and media control and with the uh, push button uh, shift by wire system. Uh, I really do like it, uh, except for one thing, uh, it kind of glares. Uh, if you see it in from some angle, it just, it just, just uh, especially when the sun hits, you cannot read what it is, uh, but when it's a uh, night time it's it's actually very readable but let's say something you know sun hits it then it just glares and you cannot read what is there but uh they're very good with the buttons uh dial buttons and toggle for the climate control um, they're also giving us three stage auto uh, when you set the temperature to 26 you can also adjust uh, how much air is blown and even the off button is, is glaring and you can also control the uh, amount of air 
coming out. So let's put it on to auto. Uh, air cleaning mode we have here. Um, yeah, so it's got pretty much everything. You can go to map, navigations, you know, POI. Um, this one, I, I really like it. Um, press. Some people do ask me, like, do I like the button type gear selector or dial type? I pretty much like the dial type because I don't like to dial things. Um, this is more simple. Just press and goes to the the drive, you know. So Genesis G80 and even, um, you know, new K5, Sorento has the dial type, but I prefer Hyundai system. So people do also ask me, do I like a new Santa Fe or all new Kia Sorento better. I like this new Hyundai Santa Fe because of the interior. Um, I do like the exterior design of the uh, new uh, Sorento, but that guy just, uh, the interior is just too much detail for me. Uh, three stage heated and ventilation seats, heated steering wheel, auto hold, uh, auto start and stop, off button, heel descent. Um, yeah, very nice. can also zoom in and out. Look at the camera quality. I think it's really, really nice. Um, so USB, ch USB charging port here. And some people kind of complained, uh, you know, even my Hyundai Palisade and even the uh, old uh, Santa Fe 2019, 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe's, we used to have a, uh, you know, phone charger sitting on the bottom like this taking too much space but this time they fixed it what's the other way around sorry so when you put it like that vertically so it just takes that much space and i think hyundai did a really good job with that cup holder here one for here one for here you can close this one so it looks nice um yeah and the funny thing is uh this part just reminds me of uh, Hyundai Palisade a lot, but the switches all shrank to a uh, smaller size. So it, it looks cute. So I really like this design, except the glare. So fix that glare, it's perfect, 100 out of 100. Um, good amount of uh, space. Um, I don't know who put Volvo here, you know. Guys, this is Hyundai, uh, who put Volvo here? But good amount of storage area on the bottom. We also have a walk-in device, so, you know, lazy people like me. So. And there's a shelf, which Daniel loves. You can put, it's, it's not slippery, so it's good. Some storage area here, and you also have a, some space on the bottom with 12 volt charging and probably with USB charging port. Yes, it does. So I think I told you everything about the car. Um, so why don't we go out and go for a short night drive? Um, because it's raining, let's drive a little bit slowly today. Okay, here we go. Um, Right, guys on the road with new Hyundai Santa Fe and um, it's raining quite a bit so let's drive slowly sort of <laughs> and uh, as you can see uh, we have um, adaptive cruise control working with lane keep assist so this guy will come to a full stop and if the lead car departs within like five seconds, it will automatically follow the car. Or if it exceeds five seconds, you actually have to press button right here or just slightly um, push on the gas pedal. Right, it says a switch or pedal to accelerate. Um, so it's a very handy system um, when you're stuck in 
heavy city traffic, uh, which is what we have here in Korea. And, uh, you know, you guys probably have lots of traffic in North America as well. So this will be a very, very nice system. Um, and it also has a lead car alert system. Uh, you're not supposed to text, but let's say you're texting and do not uh, see the car leaving and it says lead vehicle is driving away. It also gives you on the right side and also alerts you. So it's a very nice system as well. So what about the visibility? Uh, it's a very nice. Um, the old Hyundai Santa Fe, not old, 2020 also had this small window near the A pillar. Looks very similar. Uh, feels very easy to see out of the car. Even the, the side windows, even throughout through the uh, second row window, it's very easy to see out of the car. And uh, if you also need some help, you can also get some help from blind spot alert system and also monitoring system on the both sides. So. I think it's a great idea. Uh, I think every car should have it. Um, they have this two camera on the uh, side mirror, it's just showing it to you straight. And in the raining condition, it's it's hard to see, but it definitely helps when you're making uh, lane changes. And um, like I told you, when it, when you're driving at night, all the buttons and everything is just very easy to read, easy on your eyes. And like I told you, the map actually moves when you drive. So this also comes with a new eye system. I kind of like it. Um, some people don't like it. Uh, some people do not like this new icon, but it's okay. You know, it takes time to get used to the new system. So, same inclusion. And let's see what we... How about the seats? Um, Seats are very comfortable. I do like this uh, two-tone, sort of a brown camel, black two-tone. It looks very nice. Um, feels very comfortable too. You have a adjustable head rest up and down and front and back. So it's really easy to find the perfect, perfect position for you. And the seating position, you can actually go quite low. So this, is, this doesn't feel like a you know, body on frame, high SUV, rather feels more like a low, um, you know, crossover, which, which is I like, which I like better. Um, and the diesel engine when you, so this is the uh, auto start and stop off button. So when it wakes up, you can definitely feel it. But uh, with a new platform, I think that really uh, managed to get it uh, nicely isolated um, vibrations it's it's there but it's hard to notice from the uh, the steering wheel but you can actually feel it from your butt a little bit but it's getting better and better but uh, I still I still not big fan of the diesel um, I think 2.5 liter turbo will be also efficient this 2.2 liter diesel is very efficient um, I'm gonna to have to do the efficiency test uh, when I'm done reviewing this night drive, going back home and going coming to work tomorrow. So, but should be very efficient as well. Um, so, guys, do let me know whether you like uh, you guys like the diesel. If you're from Europe, you guys probably are very familiar and like the diesel. But if you're North America, probably not so much familiar with the diesel. Uh, we also have a uh, auto hold right here so you don't have to constantly braking um, when you're at the red light so it's very nice so this is what uh, apple carplay looks like so yeah you, you see i don't understand the new uh new ui system just limits doesn't let you access the whole screen. I think this uh, Hyundai is doing this purposely. Um, so the, their system looks better. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. Why don't, why don't they allow it the full screen? Come on, Hyundai. Let us, uh, let the Apple CarPlay use the full screen. Come on. Can I have the map like this? Yeah, that's it. 
It's straightforward. You can go back to Hyundai. Yeah, so that's what Apple CarPlay looks like. Now let's drive this car. We talk too much without driving. Um, so like I told you, we have a four drive modes and three terrain modes, so that makes it sort of like a seven drive modes. Uh, in comfort mode, it feels actually comfort, but when you put it into eco mode, it, the accelerator just becomes numb and heavy and just does not respond as quickly. Uh, so comfort mode is, is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So, um, how does the new uh, DCT feels? It feels uh, pretty okay. I mean, I'm gonna show you when we're done. Uh, in the CT traffic, if you, you know, just uh, keep on pressing the accelerator like this, it will jerk a little bit. Um, it feels jerky, but overall, if you're just cruising like this, you will hardly notice that it's a, it's a DCT. So it's very comfortable. It should help a lot with efficiency. Uh, so like I told you, I'm gonna show you how it, how efficient it is. I'm gonna test it on the way home. So let's put the car into sports. Oh, red. So it looks, looks very daring for a SUV. I also have paddle shifters. Let me just full throttle. So this 2.2 liter diesel, um, of course it's not, not punch as a V6 or gasoline engines, but it actually pulls pull the car very linearly all throughout the RPM range. Um, it pulls, uh, I think that, I forget, but uh, his peak torque starts around 1750 rpm just like any other this 2.2 liter diesel has been used a lot uh, it's in the new carnival it's in uh, definitely new santa fe sorrento so it's 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 a very good system it just pulls the car very nicely wow Let me just show you a track. So, you know, one sad thing is, you know, Genesis G80 or Genesis GV80 does not have this illustration showing the distribution between the front axle and rear axle. But Hyundai cars do have. Uh, my Hyundai Palisade has them. Uh, this Santa Fe has them. So. I really wish uh, Hyundai will add this illustration for Genesis models as well. Wow, look, pulls very nicely. And you know what, this new Santa Fe is very quiet and the reason we is uh, because it's got double laminated windows even for the first row and also for the second row seats. You know, my Hyundai Palisade does not have double laminated windows for the second row seat, so I feel very jealous. Um, so when I drive my Hyundai Palisade really fast on highway, uh, a lot of noise comes actually from the uh, second row side window. Well, this one, it's only available for the top trim. Um, so what about the A-speed automatic? It's not automatic, it's actually DCT system. We also have paddle shifters, so let me just show you working in action. Six, five, four, wow, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. <laughs> so it will actually upshift. You know, this is not a sports car, so. I will just upshift. shift. 
So I, I like the uh, new platform. I think it's, it will handle very awesome tomorrow. Hopefully it will not rain tomorrow because um, I want to show you guys how this car corners around, you know, stiff corners. Um, but the new chassis feels very solid. Um, like I told you, because we have double laminate windows everywhere, it feels very nicely isolated as well. It feels stable on highway cruising as well. Yeah, I mean, I remember Hyundai cars used to be very unstable on high speed, but look, even in this rainy condition, I can just drive this SUV and feel very, you know, planted and secure. It didn't have that. So thank you all the engineers and uh, probably Mr. Beerman, who's been working hard um, tuning this suspension. I like it. Darn it, my GoPro just died on me, so let me just repeat one more time. It's okay, I'm just going home, so let me just put the car back into sports mode. And uh, let's try this a little bit uh, corner. It's, it's wet, so let's take it very nicely. As you can see, the uh, A-Track is working very hard. Uh, good brakes, too. Uh, the tires, even in this wet condition, is taken very nicely. So, hope to show you how it handles. Generally, um, I really do love this 2.2-liter uh, diesel. I'm not really a big fan of uh, diesel engines, especially four-cylinder diesel engine, because it tends to be noisy and, you know, just creates lots of vibration. But this be one, left yeah, this one feels very nice. It pulls very nicely, you know, early RPM. And um, so if you're gonna get this car, probably you're probably familiar with diesel engines if you're watching from Europe but probably not familiar if you're watching from North America but if you have to if you have the choice I think you should get this car if you're driving you know constantly on the highway long distance travelings should get it with this 2.2 liter diesel because it doesn't feel anything like diesel when you're cruising on high speed. Uh, it actually feels quieter even compared to uh, many gasoline engines if you're just driving on the highway. But if you're mainly going to drive, be, be driving this car um, in city, heavy traffic, stop and go, stop and go, I suggest you get it with 2.5 liter turbo. I mean, I even haven't driven the uh, new Santa Fe with 2.5 liter turbo, but uh, I think it will be definitely very nice and quite efficient too because uh, it's it's got 2.5 liter four-cylinder gasoline engine off the uh, new cadenza they turbocharged it so it should be also very nice okay so let me just show you a little bit pulling yeah look look how linearly it pulls the car and it feels very stable as well and um, like I told you um, you know I envy many features even as a 2019 Hyundai Palisade owner this has you know, blind spot monitoring system my Hyundai Palisade has a seven screen seven inch screen in the middle so which shows uh, both right and left side in the middle so I envy that and um, this has a, what do you call it, double laminate windows even for the second row seats. So this feels a lot quieter even compared to my Hyundai Palisade. So yeah, I feel jealous too. Um, so if you're a 2019 or 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe owner, you should be very <laughs> jealous. Uh, um, you know, this is only facelift, but they have added uh, many features. And by the way, that uh, double laminate windows for the second row seats, it's only for the, uh, the top trim model, top trim level, so. 
oh by the way because I'm shooting this uh, on the way maybe you have to do the efficiency test only halfway <laughs> so please do excuse me on that uh, my just GoPro just died on me and you also have a 12 speaker sound system by Corel let me just let you hear it it's pretty good. Obviously, it doesn't sound like a premium sound system like Lexicon, but I think it's, you know, gets the job done. I think your whole family will enjoy, you know, music on this um, 12 system speaker by sound system by uh, Corel. This Santa Fe has so many features um, and the new platform also feels very stable even on high speed and I really want to show you how it handles tomorrow. I think it's gonna do a great job. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. God, please. <laughs> so, yeah, so do let me know if you have any questions about this uh, new Santa Fe so I can uh, you know enter them and when we get a press car with 2.5 liter turbo hopefully they said they're gonna release it on this uh, fall so hopefully I'll answer some of the questions uh, then okay so yeah so thank you guys so much uh, this has been a short night drive with new Hyundai Santa Fe uh, we'll be also unloading the daytime review so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back with more car reviews. So before you leave, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.